my dudes, how you doing? I'm Billy and Dan, good day, welcome back to the channel. And in today's episode of Tactics, we will be breaking down Diego Simeone's 5-3-2 Atletico Madrid Tactics in the game EAFC 24. So, if you can, hit that like button, subscribe if you are new, that would be damn near fantastic. Also, by the way, we've hit 2,000 subscribers, fantastic. We have been incredible. I think we hit it yesterday, so the channel's moving in the right direction, and I'm, I'm loving it. So, thank you, big up to everybody who supports the channel, subscribe, like videos, commented, it's been amazing, mad love, mad respect. Now let's hop into this video. Off the back, we've got Rata and Griezmann up front. We've got Magrente, Koke, and uh, Rodrigo de Paul in the midfield. Galan, Hermoso, Witzel, Savage, Molina in the defense. And between the sticks, we have got probably the best shot stopping goalkeeper in the world, Jan Oblak. In the subs, we've got Lino, Requilin, Saul, Ronaldo, Drevic, Aspilicueta, and Jimenez. In the reserves, we've got Correa, Lamar, Suyonsu, Memphis Depay. Uh, Gomis, Costas, Vitolo, who I don't know why he hasn't left yet. Apparently he was very unhappy at, at Atletico Madrid. Maybe things have changed. I'm not an Atletico Madrid fan, but maybe things have changed. And then we've got a very young superstar in the making, potentially. He's only 20 years old, by the way. Barrios. I know he scored his first UCL goal the other day. So if you are playing a career mode, try and build the, the midfield around this kid. You know, he could be special. So for the formation, it's a very basic 5-3-2 holding, one goalkeeper, three centre backs, two wing backs, one DM, two central midfielders, and two strikers. So diving on into the tactics and the tactical vision itself is set to wing play. I think that best reflects what Atletico Madrid try and do with the ball and in possession at times against most teams. So they will look to try and you know work the ball into the wider regions, and in this case it's to the wing backs who will then look to run the flanks and then potentially supply the forward line with a dirty great cross. Um, you can also go with counter-attacking football. I think maybe against the likes of a Real Madrid or a Barcelona, teams that look to dominate the ball, they'll look, Atletico Madrid will look to soak up the pressure and then hit them on the break. But more times than not, I think wing play best suits and identifies with what Atletico Madrid are looking to do on a day-to-day -day basis. So for the defensive style, I've gone with the drop-back system. It does help replicate what Atletico Madrid try and do in games. They try and keep their shape, keep their, their style, and keep their structure at times, and have the opponents try and break them down more times than not. Have that killer ball that's going to try and unlock a back five with the DM roaming in front of them. So it's, it's a very hard and tough defensive system that, that you will be looking to implement in the Atletico Madrid team. As for the team width though, it is a nice widespread 70. You do have a back five with wing backs that will naturally look to occupy the wider area. So crosses into the box are going to be very tough for the opposition. What I will say is though, it does, it, it can hurt you in, in the center of the park though because it is a nice widespread team. There are um, potential angles and passing lanes that can be um, exploited at times that can essentially try and exploit your, your defense because you do need a bit more space but because it's such a nice widespread team and because you do have a very good goalkeeper between the sticks you will essentially force your opposition into taking shots from outside the box which more times than not the likes of Jan Oblak is very much equal to. As for the depth it is 40 it's a nice low block very hard to break down very hard to unlock and you do have very strong physical center backs in the way of anything good that your opposition can potentially throw at you. For the ball to play in the offense, I've gone with a balanced approach. It does allow you to have that long ball being played in from the likes of Axel Witzel or potentially a Koke at times, or potentially you would like to try and speed things up a bit more, especially if you are trying to counter attack at times. You do want to have that phase of play in your offense, which is why balance best suits what Atletico Madrid try and do. In terms of the chance creation though, I've gone with a very direct passing phase. They look to pass and get into the box as quick as possible. There's no wait and be patient. It's knock the ball out wide to the wing back and have them supply the forward line. For the width, I've gone with 80. It does help. It does replicate a very widespread team. You do want to try and create as much space in the midfield as possible. Try and spread the opposition out as much as possible. Because what that essentially does is it unlocks passing angles and passing lanes for you to try and exploit. More times than not though, you are going to look to supply your, your wing backs who will look to supply the forwards. Four players in the box though, speaking of supplying forwards in the attacking area, I've set it to five, it's a very balanced approach. You do have two strikers, your, your Antoine Griezmann and um, Alvaro Morata, they will look to be advancing into the box and then you'll have the additional attacking player in that attacking area. Sometimes it might be Rodrigo de Paul, other times it might be um, Marcus Lorente, who will look to make that advancing run into the attacking third. As for corners and free kicks, as for always, it is set to four. So, starting off with the instructions between the sticks, we've got the best shot stopping goalkeeper in the world. He is set to come for crosses, very good with claiming those aerial balls, whether it's a cross, a free kick, a corner, he's going to claim that he's going to take it. 
hold it, make sure it's not going anywhere near the opposition at times. It's very rare that you see young Oblak being exploited in the air. So, very, very good between the sticks. But because he's one of the best shot-stopping goalkeepers in the world, and of course you are playing a very low block at set to 40, you don't need him to be a sweeper keeper. And I don't think he's very good with the ball at his feet. I don't think he's, he's as controlled and assured of himself with the ball at his feet. So that's why I've gone with saving outside the box to be balanced. You won't always look to have him running off of his line as much. Moving on into the, and I need to say this the midfield. Moving on into the defense, we've got Savage, Witzel, and Hermo. So I think, I don't know exactly what's wrong with that Jimenez isn't playing, but I think he needs to be in here. But in terms of Witzel, he is the ball playing uh, center back. He will look to try and spray those passes, or potentially Kobe will look to spray those 40 yard passes further on into the field or into the forward line, or even potentially into your wing backs, depending on how high they get. But basically, the three center backs, they are set to their base of instructions there. Their approach and their mentality is we're here to try and break us down and we'll counter attack on you. So that's why I've gone with a base set of instructions. Moving out wide though to the wing backs, very important to the system, might I say. Both are set to join the attack and overlap. They will make those advancing runs higher up the field at times. And what I will say is potentially against a Barcelona or a Real Madrid, have it set to a balanced approach so that they won't get forward nearly as much. But when you do have the ball in those higher regions, they will look to advance into those. Um, attacking wide spaces, but this is the instructions I would go to try and replicate and recreate a realistic approach that Atletico Madrid look to have. I also noticed that Lino um, also plays as a wing back at times. I mean, I think in the Madrid derby he, he played there and he was very, very good. The, the Alvaro Morata first goal where he just pinged in a beautiful cross. It could have it could have either been Lino or Ronaldo. I'm not exactly sure, but one of them, they, they, that pass was so flipping perfect. It was unbelievable. I think it was Lino against Granada in their last game. He played in a beautiful cross for Griezmann's first goal, and he was very, very good. But anyway, I'm, I'm getting slightly sidetracked. Your crosses come from the wider regions, which is your wing backs. Moving on into the midfield, we've got Koke. He's set to cut passing lanes, having a bit more of a balanced attack. So you won't always have to just sit in front of the back five. You will have to sometimes venture forward and get a bit more involved into the attacking phase. Normal interceptions are set to be on for him and be the deep line playmaker. Like I said, Witzel and Koke, they have the responsibility of supplying those long ranging passes, trying to exploit the opposition's high line at times or potentially their, their low block at times. So for your other midfielders, Lorente and DePaul, they're set to having a basic balanced attack. They will look to be the bit, a bit more of a boxed box player, sometimes advancing into the box, other times just staying on the edge of the box, trying to facilitate the pace of play. And that's why I have gone with a stay on the edge of the box for the cross. Aggressive interceptions are set to be on drift uh, drift wide and then cover the wind. Both are set to the same set of instructions as you will see here for DePaul as well. But basically, what I did note was in their last game, when the opposition had the ball in their in their back line, whether it was on the left or the right, either DePaul or Lorente would shift into that front line, almost creating a front three at times, trying to almost coax them into playing the ball slightly out wide so that he could try and win that ball back nice and high up the field. And moving on into our striker department, we'll start off with Morata. He's here to stay central, be a target man, aggressive interceptions, ask him to be on, and then have a basic defensive support. He does look to drop off that back line at times, get onto the ball, drop very deep in certain moments, and potentially draw the opposition out, draw the centre-backs out of um, place, opening up more space for Griezmann to operate him. But he will be that central focus in the attack, Supplying those crosses into Morata is the key um, target man. He is essential for those crosses being played. And aggressive interceptions are set to be on because he will look to try and implement a press of his own with Griezmann and Rodrigo de Paul and Lorente on that back line in certain moments. And speaking of Griezmann, finally, the, the final player in the jigsaw puzzle, he's set to have a, ba a balance with. So he has a bit more of a free role. He can drift in and out of the team. He can make his runs um, arcing in or out. Of, of the box at times, but he will also be a target man. He will look to try and have that ball being played into him as well. It's mainly for Morata and Griezmann will look to try and pounce on any potential mistakes that are made in the box. And we saw that in the last game. The, the ball was fizzed into Morata and then Griezmann ended up pouncing on it and scoring the goal. Normal inceptions are set to You don't want to overexert Griezmann. He is the almost the, the final chief creator of this team. He has this offense taking over. There won't be you won't have a fluid attacking offensive system, but with Griezmann on the ball, it becomes as fluid as can be. Um, and then finally, he's here to come back on defense. You want him playing just off of um, the likes of Morata at times. So even though Morata will look to sometimes come back, Griezmann will always look to join up with the midfield and have a, a deeper starting position 
when starting the attacks at times. So yes, my people, that is my version of Diego Simeone's 5-3-2 formation in EAFC 24. Like I said before, if you haven't already and you wanted to give this video a try, please hit that subscribe button if you are new. We're on the road to 3,000 subscribers now, so if we can hit that as soon as possible, that would be damn near fantastic. But until the next time, my dudes, I hope you have a damn great day. I'm out.